Welcome back to the 6 o'clock show. Owen Sheehan is on kitchen duty tonight. Owen, what are you making for us in lovely Limerick? Hey guys, so tonight we are doing a lemon drizzle cake. So it's this really kind of simple, kind of summery, uh, zingy lemon sponge cake for all the world. It's really, really simple. Um, but it's kind of like a fan favourite. Everyone seems to kind of like it. Every Irish household often has one, you know, a liner on the place, or, or it's a really kind of common one to get for your tea or afternoon tea. And, and it starts as all sponge cakes do, and it kind of follows that similar template, and we just add a few pieces here and there to kind of change it up. So what I have in this mixer here is I have some softened butter. We're going to add in our sugar. Okay, you can do this by hand too if you want. We're going to be lazy tonight and just let the mixer do the job. So butter and sugar, we're going to cream that together just for a couple of seconds. So just let that kind of all mix together. When it's all fully mixed through, um, we'll continue on then. Okay, so in on top of that, we're going to do four eggs. Okay, you can go one by one if you want, or you can just crack all four into a bowl. Okay, and then slowly just start to drip feed them into the mixer itself. So Go on a nice kind of medium low speed or if you're doing it by hand, make sure the eggs or the, the butter and the sugar are fully mixed through. And then you can just start to just incorporate your eggs in together and mix that again through. OK, so that's what you're doing is we're just kind of building that sponge cake base. And it's the exact same as if you were making like a Victoria sponge or queen cakes or whatever it may be. Okay. So the, the, differ the differencing factor here are beautiful lemons. OK. So what we'll do to get that lemon flavor in there, lemon juice would make it very liquidy. So we don't necessarily want that. So we're going to take the zest off that, okay? And I've done that previously. And you can see here, I haven't gone all the way down uh -huh. see, so you can see the inside of the lemon. You just go on the outer membrane. So just taking that outer zest off, there it is there on the board. So probably two big lemons or I three kind of smaller lemon, medium lemons there. So we'll pop them in, in on top of the mixture. And that's just going to give us that kind of strong lemon taste and also that beautiful yellow color as well. Okay? Beautiful. So pop that in. Really, really simple. And that does really give a really strong lemon taste. You'd be surprised. A little bit of that lemon uh, zest goes a long way. Okay? So actually, now at this stage, I'll take this off the mixer. I'll go by hand. And from here then, we're going to add in the wet ingredients or the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. So I have some flour here that I saved previously. Self-raising flour. Add that in to our cake mixture. And then with a spatula, just start to bring that together. Okay? Fold so it's in. the exact same as, as a normal cake mixture, just folding it together. We don't necessarily need to do this on the mixer at this stage. We're, we'd be kind of knocking a lot of air out. And you want it to kind of be light and fluffy and airy um, and to kind of hold its shape a bit. So if we were to mix it for another 20 minutes in there, it would completely sink down and you'd be able to... Bounce it off the wall until it come back to you. So I think that's where I can go wrong. Together, we made muffins the other night, and they were very. And anytime we make um, muffins or queen cakes, that kind of thing, they're always it's always very flat. I think we might be. Well, I don't know. If, I don't do you know do if it we, in the mixer? Yeah, we do. That's the problem. I think do it by this hand. bit, you just mix the wet stuff first, and then then throw in the self raising afterwards. I'm going to have. Yeah, to give it, it's, it a go. it's a really common issue that people often do, and again, we kind of go to the efforts of sieving in all these ingredients and adding in these self-raising products, yeah. and then we bait them out of it, basically. So add them in, just barely fold it in. So you can see here, hopefully, yeah. that it's just kind of coming together. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's no there's no flour left in that bowl. It's all kind of just mixed into this nice, wet consistency. So what we'll do is we'll get a bread tin. That's the point where I go okay. in and start eating. Yeah, just yeah, my, my I, two I, boys again, are the same. They, are they, yeah. Can I come around to your yeah, house? Yeah. It's like, but it's like, it's kind of like, please, we need some mixture we for the some. actual cakes. Oh, yeah. my mother used to let me have one in a bun when she was making queen cakes. She's like, fine, you can have one wet mixture. And then she'd... And is that all right? <laughs> uh, Health-wise? Uh, once the eggs, once the eggs are fresh, there, it's fine. I know right, I that's did, what I, I, says, I right. did it about two years ago when we used to be allowed to go into the kitchen here. Uh -huh. I remember eating some some of the mixture and there were messages going, you can't do that don't with do the that, eggs. Don't do that, don't do that, yeah, yeah. I was like, I've been doing it for over 30 years, lads. I'm still yeah, here, yeah, we're yeah. all right. As a boy. It's, it's As a boy, no yeah. Again, on that's the only thing. The only the only problem could be the eggs. But usually, once they're fresh eggs, there's no problem at all. I wouldn't probably recommend eat the whole batter. Um, yeah. But yeah. again, tasting it here there or licking the spoon is, is no problem at all. So that's gone into our bread tin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
that mixture will make, probably make one nice um, loaf tin, okay? Or you, you could make a square brownie tin as well if you want to make a kind of few squares. Okay. As always, give it a kind of whirl, give it a tap. That goes into the oven. So this is where it might differ a small bit. So we're at 160 degrees, so a little bit lower in temperature for about 40 minutes, okay? Okay. okay. So that is kind of important because it does take a bit of time to cook all the way through, especially in these bread tins. Yeah. They're not as wide as the other tins. It takes some time to, to kind of heat the inside okay. of the tin itself. If it was a, a large flat brownie tin, it would cook much faster. So 40, 30 to 40 minutes, 160. Hopefully, please God, if all going well, your, your lemon drizzle will come out like this. So this is, you know, you're 80% you're there, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is lovely as it is. You have that beautiful kind of fresh loaf. It's nice and soft. It's nice and hollow when I tap it. But to go the extra mile... Your drizzle. What we have here, we have the drizzle, exactly. And the drizzle is, is simple. I have the juice of probably three small lemons, so two lemons again. So usually, whatever you zested, keep the lemons, juice them up, put them in a bowl here. Yeah. The juice itself. Get your icing sugar. Toss your icing sugar straight into the lemons and then start to just whisk that together. And that is a drizzle. That's a, there's no cooking involved. You don't need to do anything. And again, you just add as much icing sugar to get it to the consistency that you want it. So some people like it quite thin, um, whereas other people like it, you know, that kind of that thick white icing over the top. So yeah. it can be either. Uh, and it kind of depends on your sweet tooth preference, whether you want it more kind of lemony or you want it more sweet. So let's give that a start through. You should get a nice kind of thickened consistency. And the key here, and this is how you get the most out of the out of the lemon juice. This is the last the last point that I'll make uh -huh. is get yeah, a knife or a skewer and just poke holes in the kind of cooked bread just oh, as gotcha. it's cooling down. Okay. Throw it on there because we're running out of time, like, Moan. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're getting to give and I want to see the, the finished entry product. Points. Yeah. This is going to give the... This is going to let the drizzle up. As he does that. And we want to say hello. Thank you to all of our <laughs> wonderful <laughs> guests as Owen's doing this. Um, look, he's still going. Uh, thank you so much uh, to all of our guests and for our cake baker, Owen Sheehan, for doing that lovely lemon drizzle cake. Are we out of time already? I want to do the no shout-outs. I want to do the mayo shout-outs. Owen, thanks Sorry. a million for the cake. We'll get some photographs up on our socials. Uh, remember, you can catch up on VMTV Food on YouTube. Come back to us tomorrow when we'll be chatting with legendary Queen guitarist Brian, Brian May. Brian May! See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>